step into the enchanting world of the 1961 classic Paris blues where two jazz musicians portrayed by Hollywood legends Paul Newman and Sidney Poitier navigate life, love, and friendship in the beautiful city of Paris. In this cinematic gem, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. There are moments that will make you laugh, leave you in shock, and even bring a tear to your eye. The narrative takes unexpected twists, keeping you hooked till the very end. Do you have a special memory linked to this movie? Or maybe, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in the film? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So, grab your popcorn and enjoy the journey through the streets of Paris with this timeless cinematic masterpiece. Your own experiences might just connect with the charm of this movie. Paris Blues is a film released in 1961 that navigates the lives of two American musicians, Ram and Eddie, who have embraced the bohemian lifestyle in Paris. Their evenings are filled with jazz performances in various clubs until the arrival of two women, played by Joanne Woodward and Diane Carroll, disrupts their carefree existence. As love blooms, the film explores the challenges of maintaining such a lifestyle with the addition of romantic partners and contemplates the possibility of returning to the United States. The movie's strengths lie in the outstanding performances of the cast, particularly Paul Newman and the well-crafted characterizations. The narrative unfolds in an unconventional manner, leaving viewers in suspense about the outcome of the protagonist's romantic entanglements. The exploration of interracial relationships and the broader theme of racial issues, though not as prominently addressed as in Round Midnight, adds depth to the storyline. While the film showcases the vibrant jazz scene in Paris, it has been criticized for spending an excessive amount of time in basement jazz clubs and slum apartments. In contrast to The Day of the Jackal, which presents a more picturesque view of Paris, Paris Blues delves into the grittier aspects of the city. In conclusion, Paris Blues offers a unique narrative with excellent acting and character development. The film's unconventional approach to storytelling and exploration of interracial relationships contribute to its appeal, despite some criticisms of its focus on less glamorous aspects of Paris. In a noteworthy scene from the movie, the first time Lillian steps into Ram's apartment, she casually plays a melody on the piano that foreshadows the future theme from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, with a striking resemblance except for the last note. This subtle musical connection adds an intriguing layer to the film's artistic elements. A behind-the-scenes detail adds a personal touch to the narrative. Joanne Woodward, who portrays one of the female leads, Joanne, became pregnant with Melissa Newman during the filming of Paris Blues. Remarkably, Melissa was born on the very day the film opened in the United States. This serendipitous event ties the movie to a real-life moment of joy for the talented actress. As the cast and crew immersed themselves in the Parisian setting, an amusing anecdote unfolded. Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, perhaps seeking a break from French cuisine, ventured into backyards during deep winter to grill steaks. This unconventional culinary pursuit, met with disapproval from neighbors, injects a touch of humor into the onset experience. These off-screen snippets offer glimpses into the making of Paris blues, showcasing the interplay of music, life events, and even culinary preferences that contributed to the overall fabric of the film. In making the 1961 movie's soundtrack, Paul Newman improved his trombone skills with the help of Billy Byers, while Murray McEachern played the actual trombone on the soundtrack. Sidney Poitier's tenor saxophone parts were played by Paul Gonsalves. The jazzy notes were recorded between May 1-3, 1961, at Reeves Sound Studios in New York City. Before the Channel Tunnel connected England and France by rail, people used ferries and trains to get to Paris. Later, hydrofoils and hovercrafts were added to the transportation options. The film, marked with MPA Register 19792, became a part of cinematic history. It tells a story set in Paris, exploring the lives of American musicians and their relationships. Paris Blues has a unique way of telling its story, focusing on the challenges of maintaining a carefree lifestyle when romantic entanglements happen. The movie touches on interracial relationships, subtly addressing racial issues that add depth to the story. Despite some criticism for spending time in less glamorous settings, the film's character development and outstanding performances, especially by Paul Newman, contribute to its lasting appeal. Interesting details from the movie include a musical connection between Lillian's piano melody and a future theme from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. 
Behind the scenes, Joanne Woodward was pregnant during filming and her daughter, Melissa Newman, was born on the film's U.S. opening day, adding a serendipitous layer to the story. Off-screen stories like Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward grilling steaks in Parisian backyards add humor to the filmmaking process. In essence, Paris Blues captures the essence of a bygone era in Paris, with its jazz-filled nights, relationships, and behind-the-scenes stories. The film explores cultural nuances and human connections, making it a timeless piece of cinematic history. In the movie, a small yet lasting detail is noticed during a Betox Mouch cruise on the Seine. While Eddie and Lillian talk, a bottle of Perrier water is on the table, a timeless thing that goes on for decades as Perrier water is still poured even in 2022. One interesting thing about the film is that two of its stars, Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman, who are married, both won Academy Awards for acting. Joanne got hers for The Three Faces of Eve in 1957, and Paul's win came 25 years later for The Color of Money, showing their talents over the years. A significant place in the movie is the Paris bird market on the Isle de la Cité, where Gypsy and Ram walk during an important scene. However, in 2021, authorities started efforts to permanently close this Sunday morning market, giving a modern touch to the movie's portrayal of the city's changing landscape. As the story unfolds, interesting off-screen stories come up, adding to the film's charm. In one scene, Lillian's unplanned piano melody hints at a theme from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, creating a subtle connection between the two films. Also, Joanne Woodward was pregnant in real life during the filming, and her daughter, Melissa Newman, was born on the film's U.S. opening day. The film's soundtrack, recorded in 1961, shows Paul Newman's dedication to improving his trombone skills with Billy Byers, while Murray McEachern plays the actual trombone parts. Sidney Poitier's tenor saxophone parts, on the other hand, are played by Paul Gonsalves, bringing a harmonious blend to the jazz-filled story. The transportation methods between England and France, highlighted in the film before the Channel Tunnel era, show the changing ways of travel. From ferries and trains to later editions like hydrofoils and hovercrafts, the film captures a time of transition in cross-channel transportation. Paris Blues, with MPA register 19792, tells a story in the heart of Paris about American musicians and their changing relationships. While it explores the difficulties of keeping a carefree lifestyle amidst romantic problems, the film subtly talks about interracial relationships, adding depth to its story. Despite some criticisms for focusing on less glamorous settings, the film's character development and outstanding performances, especially by Paul Newman, contribute to its lasting appeal. Creating an authentic portrayal of a past era in Paris, the film captures the essence of jazz-filled nights, relationships, and behind-the-scenes stories. As it explores cultural nuances and human connections, Paris Blues remains a timeless part of cinematic history, enriched by its unique insights and special details.